protectionism. 67 languages. Political poster by the British Liberal Party. Presenting their view of the differences between an economy based on free trade versus one based on protectionism. The free trade shop is shown as full of customers due to its low prices. The shop based on protectionism shows higher prices, a lesser selection of goods, and a lack of customers. Animosity between the protected business owner and the regulator is also depicted. Anti-free trade postcard from 1910. Protectionist redirects here. For other uses, see protectionist, disambiguation. Protectionism, sometimes referred to as trade. Protectionism, is the economic policy of restricting. Imports from other countries through methods such as tariffs on imported goods, import quotas, and a variety of other government regulations. Proponents argue that protectionist policies shield the producers, businesses, and workers of the import competing sector in the country from foreign competitors and raise government revenue. Opponents argue that protectionist policies reduce trade and adversely affect consumers in general by raising the cost of imported goods as well as the producers and workers in export sectors, both in the country, implementing protectionist policies and in the countries against which the protections are implemented. 1. Protectionism has been advocated mainly by parties that hold economic nationalist a, positions, while economically liberal b, political parties generally support free trade. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There is a consensus among economists that protectionism has a negative effect on economic Growth and economic welfare, 7, 8, 9, 10, while free. Trade and the reduction of trade barriers have a significantly positive effect on economic growth. 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, some scholars, such as Douglas Irwin, have implicated protectionism as the cause of some economic crises most notably the Great Depression. 16. Although trade liberalization can sometimes result in large and unequally distributed losses and gains, and can, in the short run, cause significant economic dislocation of workers in import competing sectors. 17. 18. Free trade often lowers the costs of goods and services for both producers and consumers. 19. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Logo of Belgium's National League for the Franks Defense 1924 Protectionist Policies, Edit Main Article, Tariff A variety of policies have been used to achieve protectionist Goals. These include tariffs and import quotas are the most common types of protectionist policies. 20. A tariff is an excise tax levied on imported goods, originally imposed to raise government revenue. Modern tariffs are now used primarily to protect domestic producers and wage rates from lower priced. Importers. An import quota is a limit on the volume of a good that may be legally imported, usually established through an import licensing regime. 20. Protection of technologies, patents, technical and scientific knowledge. 21, 22, 23. 
Restrictions on foreign direct investment, 24, such as Restrictions on the acquisition of domestic firms by foreign investors, 25. Administrative barriers, countries are sometimes accused of using their various administrative rules, for example, regarding food safety, environmental standards, electrical safety, etc., as a way to introduce barriers to imports. Anti-dumping legislation, dumping is the practice of firms selling to export markets at lower prices than are charged in domestic markets. Supporters of anti-dumping laws argue that they prevent the import of cheaper foreign goods that would cause local firms to close down. However, in practice, anti-dumping laws are usually used to impose trade tariffs on foreign exporters. Direct subsidies, government subsidies, in the form of lump sum payments or cheap loans, are sometimes given to local firms that cannot compete well against imports. These subsidies are purported to protect local jobs and to help local firms adjust to the world markets. Export subsidies, export subsidies are often used by governments to increase exports. Export Subsidies have the opposite effect of export tariffs because exporters get payment, which is a percentage or proportion of the value of exported. Export subsidies increase the amount of trade, and in a country with floating exchange rates, have effects similar to import subsidies. Exchange rate control, a government may intervene in the foreign exchange market to lower the value of its currency by selling its currency in the foreign exchange market. Doing so will raise the cost of imports and lower the cost of exports, leading to an improvement in its trade balance. However, such a policy is only effective in the short run, as it will lead to higher inflation in the Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Country in the long run, which will, in turn, raise the real cost of exports, and reduce the relative price of imports. International patent systems, there is an argument for viewing national patent systems as a Cloak for protectionist trade policies at a national level. Two strands of this argument exist. 1. When patents held by one country form part of a system of exploitable relative advantage in trade negotiations against another, and a second where adhering to a worldwide system of patents confers good citizenship status despite de facto protectionism. Peter Draos explains that states realized that patent systems could be used to cloak protectionist strategies. There were also reputational advantages for states to be seen to be sticking to intellectual property systems. One could attend the various revisions of the Paris and Berne conventions, participate in the cosmopolitan moral dialogue about the need to protect the fruits of authorial labor and inventive genius, knowing all the while that one's domestic intellectual property system was a handy protectionist weapon. 26. Political campaigns advocating domestic consumption, for example the Buy American campaign in the United States which could be seen as an extra-legal promotion of protectionism. Preferential governmental spending, such as the Buy American Act, federal legislation which called upon the United States government to prefer us made products in its purchases. In the modern trade arena, many other initiatives besides tariffs have been called protectionist. For example, some commentators such as Jagdish Bhagwati, see developed countries' efforts in imposing their own labor or environmental standards as protectionism. Also, the imposition of 
restrictive certification procedures on imports is seen in this light. Further, others point out that free trade agreements often have protectionist provisions such as intellectual property, copyright, and patent restrictions that benefit large corporations. These provisions restrict trade in music, movies, pharmaceuticals, software, and other manufactured items. To high-cost producers with quotas from low-cost producers set to zero. 27. History, Edit In the 18th century, Adam Smith famously warned against the interested sophistry of industry, seeking to gain an advantage at the cost of the consumers. 28. Friedrich List saw Adam Smith's views on free trade as disingenuous, believing that Smith advocated for free trade so that British industry could lock out underdeveloped foreign competition. 29. Some have argued that no major country has ever successfully industrialized without some form of economic protection. 30. 31. Economic historian Paul Byrock wrote that historically, free trade is the exception and protectionism the rule. 32. According to economic historians Douglas Irwin and Kevin O'Rourke, shocks that emanate from Brief financial crises tend to be transitory and have a little long-run effect on trade policy, whereas Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Tariff rates in Japan, 1870 1960 Tariff rates in Spain and Italy 1860-1910 Tariff rates, France, UK, and US. Those that play out over longer periods, the early 1890s, early 1930s, may give rise to protectionism that is difficult to reverse. Regional wars also produce transitory shocks that have little impact on long-run trade policy, while global wars give rise to Extensive government trade restrictions that can be difficult to reverse. 33. One study shows that sudden shifts in comparative advantage for specific countries have led some countries to become protectionist. The shift in comparative advantage associated with the opening up of new world frontiers and the subsequent grain invasion of Europe led to higher agricultural tariffs from the late 1870s onwards, which as we have seen reversed the move toward freer trade that had characterized mid-19th century Europe. In the decades after World War II, Japan's rapid rise led to trade friction with other countries. Japan's Recovery was accompanied by a sharp increase in its exports of certain product categories, cotton textiles in the 1950s, steel in the 1960s, automobiles in the 1970s, and electronics in the 1980s. In each case, the rapid expansion in Japan's exports created difficulties for its trading partners and the use of protectionism as a shock absorber. 33. In the United States, edit. Main articles, Protectionism in the United States and Tariffs in United States History. According to economic historian Douglas Irwin, a common myth about U.S. trade policy is that low tariffs harmed American manufacturers in the early 19th century and then that high tariffs made the United States into a great industrial power in the late 19th century. 34. A review by the economist of Irwin's 2017 book Clashing Over Commerce, A History of U.S. Trade Policy states, 34. Political dynamics would lead people to see a link 
between tariffs and the economic cycle that was not there. A boom would generate enough revenue for tariffs to fall, and when the bust came pressure would build to raise them again. By the time that happened, the economy would be recovering, giving the impression that tariff cuts caused the crash and the Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Average tariff rates in US 1821-2016 US trade balance, 1895-2015 Reverse generated the recovery Mr. Irwin also Attempts to debunk the idea that protectionism made America a great industrial power, a notion believed by some to offer lessons for developing countries today. As its share of global manufacturing powered from 23% in 1870 to 36% in 1913, the admittedly high tariffs of the time came with a cost estimated at around 0.5% of GDP in the mid-1870s. In some industries, they might have sped up development by a few years. But American growth during its protectionist period was more to do with its abundant resources and openness to people and ideas. According to Irwin, Tariffs have served three primary purposes in the United States, to raise revenue for the government, to restrict imports and protect domestic producers from foreign competition, and to reach reciprocity. Agreements that reduce trade barriers. 35. From 1790 to 1860, average tariffs increased from 20 percent to 60 percent before declining again to 20 percent. 35, from 1861 to 1933, which Irwin characterizes as the restriction period, the average tariffs increased to 50 percent and remained at that level for several decades. From 1934 onwards, which Irwin characterizes as the reciprocity period. The average tariff declined substantially until it leveled off at 5%. 35. Economist Paul Byrock documented that the United States imposed among the highest rates in the world from around the founding of the country until the World War II period, describing the United States as the mother country and bastion of modern protectionism since the end of the 18th century and until the post-World War II period. 36. Alexander Hamilton, the first United States Secretary of the Treasury, was of the view, as articulated most famously in his report on manufactures, that developing an industrialized economy was impossible without protectionism because import duties are necessary to shelter domestic infant industries until they could achieve economies of scale. 37. The industrial takeoff of the United States occurred under protectionist policies 1816-1848 and under moderate protectionism 1846-1861, and continued under strict Protectionist Policies 1861-1945 38. In the late 19th century, higher tariffs were introduced on the grounds that they were needed to protect American wages and to protect American farmers. 39. Between 1824 and the 1940s, the U.S. imposed much higher average tariff rates on manufactured products than did Britain or any other European country, with the exception for a period of time of Spain and Russia. 40. Up until the end of World War II, the United States had the most protectionist economy on Earth. 41. 
the Bush administration implemented tariffs on Chinese steel in 2002, according to a 2005 review. Of existing research on the tariff, all studies found that the tariffs caused more harm than gains to explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. The U.S. Economy and Employment 42. The Obama administration implemented tariffs on Chinese tires between 2009 and 2012 as an anti-dumping measure. A 2016 study found that these tariffs had no impact on employment and wages in the U.S. tire industry. 43. In 2018, EU Trade Commissioner Cecilia Malmstrom stated that the U.S. was playing a dangerous game in applying tariffs on steel and aluminum imports from most countries and stated that she saw the Trump administration's decision to do so as both pure protectionist and illegal. 44. The tariffs imposed by the Trump administration during the China-United States trade war led to a reduction in the United States trade deficit with China. 45. Europe, edit. In the United Kingdom, edit. Main article. Economic History of the United Kingdom See also, British Empire Great Britain, and England in particular, became one of the most prosperous economic regions in the world between the late 1600s and early 1800s as a result of being the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution that began in the mid-18th century. 46. The government protected its merchants, and kept others out, by trade barriers, regulations, and subsidies to domestic industries in order to maximize exports from and minimize imports to the realm. The Navigation Acts of the late 17th century required all trade to be carried in English ships, manned by English crews. This later encompassed all Britons after the Acts of Union 1707 united Scotland with England. 47. Colonists were required to send their produce and raw materials first of all to Britain, where the surplus was then sold on by British merchants to other colonies in the British Empire or bullion, earning external markets. The colonies were forbidden to trade directly with other nations or rival empires. The goal was to maintain the North American and Caribbean colonies as dependent. Agricultural economies geared towards producing raw materials for export to Britain. The growth of native industry was discouraged, in order to keep the colonies dependent on the United Kingdom. For their finished goods. 48, 49, from 1815 to 1870, the United Kingdom reaped the benefits of being the world's first modern, industrialized nation. It described itself as the workshop of the world, meaning that its finished goods were produced so efficiently and cheaply that they could often undersell comparable, locally manufactured goods in almost any other market. 50. By the 1840s, the United Kingdom had adopted a free trade policy, meaning open markets and no tariffs throughout the empire. 51. The Corn Laws were tariffs and other trade restrictions on imported food and corn enforced in the United Kingdom between 1815 and 1846, and enhanced the profits and political power associated with land ownership. The laws raised food prices and the costs of living for the British public, and hampered the growth of other British economic sectors, such as manufacturing, by reducing the disposable income of the British public. 52. The Prime Minister, Sir. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Robert Peel, 
a conservative, achieved repeal in 1846 with the support of the Whigs in Parliament, overcoming the opposition of most of his own party. The possessions of the East India Company in India, known as British India, was the centrepiece of the British Empire, and because of an efficient taxation system it paid its own administrative expenses as well as the cost of the large British Indian Army. In terms of trade, India turned only a small profit for British business. 53, however, transfers to the British government was massive, in 1801 unrequited, unpaid, or paid from Indian collected revenue, was about 30% of British domestic savings available for capital formation in the United Kingdom. 54, 55 by the late 19th century, the United Kingdom was the quintessential free trade country. However, that did not mean that it was unaffected by foreign tariffs, especially those of the United States under the McKinley Tariff and Dingley Tariff. 56. Economic historian Brian Varian estimated that, but for the protectionism in British overseas markets, the United Kingdom exports would have been 57% higher in 1902. 57. By the interwar era, the United Kingdom began to drift away from free trade. There was a piecemeal erosion of free trade in the 1920s, including under the system of so-called safeguarding duties. 58, 59, 60. Then, with the Import Duties Act of 1932, the United Kingdom moved in a decisively protectionist direction. 61, 62. In continental Europe, edit. Europe became increasingly protectionist during the 18th century. 63, Economic Historians. Findlay and O'Rourke write that in the immediate aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars, European trade policies were almost universally protectionist, with the exceptions being smaller countries, such as the Netherlands and Denmark. 63. Europe increasingly liberalized its trade during the 19th century. 64. Countries such as the Netherlands, Denmark, Portugal and Switzerland, and arguably Sweden and Belgium, had fully moved towards free trade prior to 1860. 64. Economic historians see the repeal of the Corn Laws in 1846 as the decisive shift toward free trade in Britain. 64. 65. A 1990 study by the Harvard economic historian Jeffrey Williamson showed that the Corn Laws, which imposed restrictions and tariffs on imported grain, substantially increased the cost of living for British workers, and hampered the British manufacturing sector by reducing the disposable incomes that British workers could have spent on manufactured goods. 66. The shift towards liberalisation in Britain occurred in part due to the influence of economists like David Ricardo, but also due to the growing power of urban Interests. 64. Findlay and O'Rourke characterise 1860 Cobden Chevalier Treaty between France and the United Kingdom as a decisive shift toward European free trade. 64. This treaty was followed by numerous free trade agreements. France and Belgium signed a treaty in 1861, a Franco Prussian treaty was Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Signed in 1862, Italy entered the network of Cobden Chevalier treaties in 1863, by Rock 1989, 40. Switzerland in 1864, Sweden, Norway, Spain, the Netherlands, and the Hanseatic towns in 1865 and Austria in 1866. 
By 1877, less than two decades after the Cobden Chevalier Treaty and three decades after British repeal, Germany had virtually become a free trade country. By Rock, 41. Average duties on manufactured products had declined to 9-12% on the continent, a far cry from the 50% British tariffs, and numerous prohibitions elsewhere, of the immediate post-Waterloo era. By Rock, Table 3, P6, and Table 5, P42, Dot, 64. Some European powers did not liberalize during the 19th century, such as the Russian Empire and Austro-Hungarian Empire which remained highly protectionist. The Ottoman Empire also became increasingly protectionist. 67. In the Ottoman Empire's case, however, it previously had liberal free trade policies during the 18th to early 19th centuries which British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli cited as an instance of the injury done by unrestrained competition in the 1846 Corn Laws debate, arguing that it destroyed what had been some of the finest manufacturers of the world in 1812. 36. The countries of Western Europe began to steadily liberalize their economies after World War II and the protectionism of the interwar period, 63, but John Zhang, then Hong Kong's Secretary for Commerce, Industry and Technology and Chair of the Sixth Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization, MC6, commented in 2005 that the EU spent around €70 billion Euros per year on trade distorting support. 68. In Canada, edit. Main article, National Policy. Since 1971 Canada has protected producers of eggs, milk, cheese, chicken, and turkey with a system of supply management. Though prices for these foods in Canada exceed global prices, the farmers and processors have had the security of a stable market to finance their operations. Citation needed, doubts about the safety of bovine growth hormone, sometimes used to boost dairy production, led to hearings before the Senate of Canada, resulting in a ban in Canada. Thus, supply management of milk products is consumer protection of Canadians. 69. In Latin America, edit. See also, Economic History of Argentina. Most Latin American countries gained independence in the early 19th century, with notable exceptions including Spanish Cuba and Spanish Puerto Rico. Following the achievement of their independence, most of the Latin American countries adopted protectionism. They both feared that any foreign competition would stomp out their newly created state and believed that lack of outside Resources would drive domestic production. 70. The protectionist behavior continued up until and during the World Wars. During World War II, Latin America had, on average, the highest tariffs in the world. 71. 72. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Argentina, edit. Juan Perón erected a system of almost complete protectionism against imports, largely cutting off Argentina from the international market in the 1940s. Protectionism created a domestically oriented Industry with high production costs, incapable of competing in international markets. At the same time, output of beef and grain, the country's main export goods, stagnated. 73. The IAPI began shortchanging growers and, when world grain prices dropped in the late 1940s, it stifled agricultural 
production, exports and business sentiment, in general. 74. Despite these shortcomings, protectionism and government credits did allow an exponential growth of the internal market, radio. Sales increased 600% and fridge sales grew 218%, among others. 75. During this period Argentina's economy continued to grow, on average, but more slowly than the world as a whole or than its neighbors, Brazil and Chile. By 1950, Argentina's GDP per capita accounted fell to less than half of that of the United States. 76. Impact, Edit there is a broad consensus among economists that protectionism has a negative effect on economic growth and economic welfare, while free trade and the reduction of trade barriers has a positive effect on economic growth. 11, 12, 13, 8, 77, 78, 79, however, protectionism can be used to Raise government revenue and enable access to intellectual property, including essential medicines. 80. Protectionism is frequently criticized by economists as harming the people it is intended to help. Mainstream economists instead support free trade. 28. 81. The principle of comparative advantage shows that the gains from free trade outweigh any losses as free trade creates more jobs than it destroys because it allows countries to specialize in the production of goods and services in which they have a comparative advantage. 82. Protectionism results in deadweight loss, this loss to overall. Welfare gives no one any benefit, unlike in a free market, where there is no such total loss. Economist Stephen P. McGee claims the benefits of free trade outweigh the losses by as much as 100 to 1. 83. Armed Conflicts, Edit. See also, Opium Wars. Protectionism has been accused of being one of the major causes of war. Proponents of this theory point to the constant warfare in the 17th and 18th centuries among European countries whose governments were predominantly mercantilist and protectionist, the American Revolution, which came about ostensibly due to British tariffs and taxes, according to a slogan of Frederick based it, 1801-1850, when goods cannot cross borders, armies will. 84. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Graph showing the increase in Chinese opium imports. By year. On the other hand, archaeologist. Lawrence H. Keeley argues in his book. War before civilization that disputes. Between trading partners escalate to war more frequently than disputes between nations that don't trade much with each other. 85. The Opium Wars were fought between the UK, C, and China over the right of British merchants to engage in the free trade of opium. For many opium users, what started as recreation soon became a punishing addiction. Many people who stopped ingesting opium suffered chills, nausea, and cramps, and sometimes died from withdrawal. Once addicted, people would often do almost anything to continue to get access to the drug. 86. Barbara Touchman says both European intellectuals and leaders overestimated the power of free trade on the eve of World War I. They believed that the interconnectedness of European nations through trade would stop a continent-wide war from breaking out, as the economic consequences would be too great. However, the assumption proved incorrect. For example, Touchman noted that 
Helmuth von Moltke the Younger, when warned of such consequences, refused to even consider them in his plans, arguing he was a soldier not an economist. 87. The ongoing Russo-Ukraine war began in the aftermath of the Revolution of Dignity and the signing of the European Union Ukraine Association Agreement in 2014, which included a deep and comprehensive free trade area for Ukraine and the European Union EU. 88. Positive Impacts, Edit. Intellectual Property, Edit. Main Articles, TRIPS Agreement and Intellectual Property. The Agreement on Trade-Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights, TRIPS, is an international legal agreement between all the member nations of the World Trade Organization, WTO. It establishes minimum standards for the regulation by national governments of different forms of intellectual property, IP, as applied to nationals of other WTO member nations. 89. TRIPS was negotiated at the end of the Uruguay round of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. GATT, D. Between 1989 and 1990, 90, and is administered by the WTO. Statements by the World Bank indicate that TRIPS has not led to a demonstrable acceleration of investment to low-income countries though it may have done so for middle-income countries. 18. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Show, U.S. historical tariffs, customs, and tax collections by the federal government. Critics argue that TRIPS limits the ability of governments to introduce competition for generic producers. 91. The TRIPS agreement allows the grant of compulsory licenses at a nation's discretion. TRIPS plus conditions in the United States FTAs with Australia, Jordan, Singapore and Vietnam have restricted the application of compulsory licenses to emergency situations, antitrust, remedies, and cases of public non-commercial use. 91. Access to Essential Medicines, Edit One of the most visible conflicts over TRIPS has been AIDS drugs in Africa. Despite the role that patents have played in maintaining higher drug costs for public health programs across Africa, this controversy has not led to a revision of TRIPS. Instead, an interpretive statement, the Doha Declaration, was issued in November, 2001, which indicated that TRIPS should not prevent states from dealing with public health crises and allowed for compulsory licenses. After Doha, PHRMA, the United States and to a lesser extent other developed nations began working to minimize the effect of the declaration. 92. In 2020, conflicts re-emerged over patents, copyrights and trade secrets related to COVID-19. Vaccines, diagnostics and treatments. South Africa and India proposed that WTO grant a temporary waiver to enable more widespread production of the vaccines, since suppressing the virus as quickly as possible benefits the entire world. 93, 94, the waivers would be in addition to the existing but cumbersome flexibilities in trips allowing countries to impose compulsory licenses. 95, 96, over 100 developing nations supported the waiver but it was blocked by the G7 members. 97, this Blocking was condemned by 400 organizations including Doctors Without Borders and 115 members of the European Parliament. 98, in June, 2022, after extensive involvement of the European Union, 
the WTO instead adopted a watered-down agreement that focuses only on vaccine patents, excludes high-income countries and China, and contains few provisions that are not covered by existing flexibilities. 99, 100. Government Revenue, Edit. Proponents of protectionism argue that tariffs raise government revenue via customs. Developing countries, including least developed countries, LDCs, often do not collect income taxes because personal incomes are often too low to tax and they lack the capability to collect such taxes from individuals. 101. United States Edit. Tariffs were the greatest source of United States. Federal revenue, up to 95% at times, until the federal income tax began after 1913. For well, over a century the federal government was largely financed by tariffs averaging about 20% on foreign imports. At the end of the American Civil War in 1865 about 63% of federal income was Explore Our Developer Friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF generated by the excise taxes, which exceeded the 25.4% generated by tariffs in 1915 during World War I tariffs generated only 30.1% of revenues. Since 1935 tariff income has continued to be a declining percentage of federal tax income. Negative impacts, edit. Living standards, edit. A 2016 study found that trade typically favors the poor, as they spend a greater share of their earnings on goods as free trade reduces the costs of goods. 108. Other research found that China's entry to the WTO benefited U.S. consumers, as the price of Chinese goods were substantially reduced. 109. Harvard economist Danny Roderick argues that while globalization and free trade does contribute to social problems, a serious retreat into protectionism would hurt the many groups that benefit from trade and would result in the same kind of social conflicts that globalization itself generates. We have to recognize that erecting trade barriers will help in only a limited set of circumstances and that trade policy will rarely be the best response to the problems of globalization. 110. Growth, Edit. According to economic historians Findlay and O'Rourke, there is a consensus in the economics literature that protectionist policies in the interwar period hurt the world economy overall, although there is a debate about whether the effect was large or small. 63. Economic historian Paul Byrock argued that economic protection was positively correlated with economic and industrial growth during the 19th century. For example, GNP growth during Europe's liberal period in the middle of the century, where tariffs were at their lowest, averaged 1.7% per year, while industrial growth averaged 1.8% per year. However, during the protectionist era of the 1870s and 1890s, GNP growth averaged 2.6% per year, while industrial output grew at 3.8% per year, roughly twice as fast as it had during the liberal era of low tariffs and free trade. 111, one study found that tariffs imposed on manufactured goods increase economic growth in developing countries, and this growth impact remains even after the tariffs are repealed. 112, however, another study examining the tariff variation across the Australian colonies prior to federation did not find 
any association between tariffs and growth. 113. According to Dartmouth economist Douglas Irwin, that there is a correlation between high tariffs and growth in the late 19th century cannot be denied. But correlation is not causation, there is no reason for necessarily thinking that import protection was a good policy just because the economic outcome was good, the outcome could have been driven by factors completely unrelated to the tariff, or perhaps could have been even better in the absence of protection. 114. Irwin Furthermore writes that few observers have argued outright that the high tariffs caused such growth. 114. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. According to Oxford economic historian Kevin O'Rourke, it seems clear that protection was Important for the growth of U.S. manufacturing in the first half of the 19th century, but this does not necessarily imply that the tariff was beneficial for GDP growth. Protectionists have often pointed to German and American industrialization during this period as evidence in favor of their position, but economic growth is influenced by many factors other than trade policy and it is important to control for these when assessing the links between tariffs and growth. 115. A prominent 1999 study by Jeffrey A. Frankel and David H. Romer found, contrary to free trade, skeptics claims, while controlling for relevant factors, that trade does indeed have a positive impact on growth and incomes. 116. Economist Arvind Panigaria criticizes the view that protectionism is good for growth. Such arguments, according to him, arise from revisionist interpretation of East Asian Tigers' economic history. The Asian Tigers achieved a rapid increase in per capita income without any redistributive social programs, through free trade which advanced Western economies took a century to achieve. 79, 117 Developing World, Edit See also, Infant Industry Argument and Protectionism in the United States. There is broad consensus among economists that free trade helps workers in developing countries even though they are not subject to the stringent health and labor standards of developed countries. This is because the growth of manufacturing, and of the myriad other jobs that the new export sector creates, has a ripple effect throughout the economy that creates competition among producers, lifting wages and living conditions. 118. The Nobel Laureates Milton Friedman and Paul Krugman, have argued for free trade as a model for economic development. 11. Alan Greenspan Former chair of the American Federal Reserve, has criticized protectionist proposals as leading to an atrophy of our competitive ability. If the protectionist route is followed, newer, more efficient industries will have less scope to expand and overall output and economic welfare will suffer. 119. Protectionists postulate that new industries may require protection from entrenched foreign competition in order to develop. Mainstream economists do concede that tariffs can in the short term help domestic industries to develop but are contingent on the short-term nature of the protective tariffs and the ability of the government to pick the winners. 120, 121, the problems are that protective tariffs will not be reduced after the infant industry reaches a foothold, and that governments will not pick industries that are likely to succeed. 121, economists have identified a 
number of cases across different countries and industries where attempts to shelter infant industries failed. 122, 123, 124, 125, 126. The United States, which today has the largest economy in the world and one of the highest GDP per capita, has employed tariffs throughout much of its history. Alexander Hamilton, the first United Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Protectionist measures taken since 2008 according to Global Trade. Alert, 128. States Secretary of the Treasury, supported tariffs at the country's inception in his 1791 report on Manufactures. Abraham Lincoln signed the 1861 Morrill Tariff to raise revenue during the United States Civil War. The Republican Party, United States, a fiscally conservative political party, currently supports and has historically supported protectionism. 127. Current World Trends, Edit. Certain policies of first world governments have been criticized as protectionist, such as the Common Agricultural Policy, 129, in the European Union, long-standing agricultural subsidies and proposed by American provisions, 130, in economic Recovery packages in the United States Heads of the G20 meeting in London on 2 April 2009 Pledged we will not repeat the Historic mistakes of Protectionism of previous eras Adherence to this pledge is monitored by the Global Trade Alert, 131 providing up-to-date information and informed commentary to help ensure that the G20 pledge is met by maintaining confidence in the world trading system, deterring beggar thy neighbor acts and preserving the contribution that exports could play in the future recovery of the world economy. Although they were reiterating what they had already committed to in the 2008 Washington G20 summit, 17 of these 20 countries were reported by the World Bank as having imposed trade restrictive measures since then. In its report, the World Bank says most of the world's major economies are resorting to protectionist measures as the global economic slowdown begins to bite. Economists who have examined the impact of new trade restrictive measures using detailed Bilaterally monthly trade statistics estimated that new measures taken through late 2009 were distorting global merchandise trade by 0.25% to 0.5%, about $50 billion a year. 132. Since then, however, President Donald Trump announced in January 2017 the U.S. was Abandoning the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, deal, saying, we're going to stop the ridiculous trade deals that have taken everybody out of our country and taken companies out of our country. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. And it's going to be reversed. 133. President Joe Biden has largely continued Trump's protectionist policies, and has not negotiated any new free trade agreements since assuming office in January 2021, 134. The 2010s and early 2020s have seen an increased use of protectionist economic policies across both developed countries and developing countries worldwide. 135, 
136. See also, Edit. American System, Economic Plan. Autarky. Brexit. Currency War. Developmentalism. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Economic Nationalism. Free Trade Debate. Globalization. Henry C. Carey. Historiography of the Fall of the Western. Roman Empire. Imperial Preference. International Trade. Market Preserving Federalism. National Policy. Not Invented Here. Project Labor Agreement. Protected Geographical Status. Protection or Free Trade. Protectionism in the United States. Protective Tariff. Rent Seeking. Resistive Economy. Smoot Hawley Act. Tariff Reform League. 1923 United Kingdom General Election. Voluntary Export Restraint. Washington Consensus. Further reading, edit. Milner, Helen V. 1988. Resisting Protectionism, Global Industries and the Politics of International Trade. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0-691. 01074-8. Hudson, Michael, 2010. America's Protectionist Takeoff, 1815-1914, The Neglected American. School of Political Economy. Ullett. ISBN 978-3-9808466-8-4. References, Edit. 1 Carat Piketty, Thomas, the 19th of April, 2022. A Brief History of Equality. Belknap Press. Retrieved the 5th of January, 2024. 2 Carat Machace, Paul, 2013. State Aid for Newspapers, Theories, Cases, Actions. Springer. Science and Business Media. P64. ISBN 978-3-642-35690-2. Parties of the Left in Government Adopt. Protectionist policies for ideological reasons and because they wish to save worker jobs. Conversely. Right-wing parties are predisposed toward free trade policies. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 3 Carat Pelis, Carlos, 2008. Globalization and the State, Volume 2, Trade Agreements, Inequality, The Environment, Financial Globalization, International Law and Vulnerabilities. United States. Palgrave. Macmillan. P68. ISBN 978-0-230-20531-4. Left-wing parties tend to support more protectionist policies than right-wing parties. 4. Carried Mansfield, Edward, 2012. Votes, Vetoes and the Political Economy of International Trade. Agreements. Princeton University Press. P128. ISBN 978-0-691-13530-4. Left-wing governments are considered more likely than others to intervene in the economy and to enact protectionist trade policies. 5 Carat Warren, Kenneth, 2008. Encyclopedia of U.S. Campaigns, Elections, and Electoral Behavior, AM. Volume 1. Sage. P680.
ISBN 978-1-4129-5489-1. Yet, certain national interests, regional trading, blocks, and left-wing anti-globalization forces still favor protectionist practices, making protectionism a continuing issue for both American political parties. 6. Carrot the End of Reaganism Politico Magazine Retrieved 24 March, 2017 7. Carrot Fairbrother, Malcolm, 1 March, 2014 Economists, Capitalists, and the Making of Globalization, North American Free Trade in Comparative Historical Perspective American Journal of Sociology 119, 5 1324 1379 Do 1086 forward slash 675410 ISSN 0002-9602 2509793 S2 SID 3802-7389 8 Carat ABC Mankey, N. Gregory, the 24th of April, 2015 Economists actually agree on this, the wisdom of free Trade archived the 14th of May, 2019 at the Wayback Machine The New York Times Retrieved the 10th of August 2021 economists are famous for disagreeing with one another. But economists reach near unanimity on some topics, including international trade. 9 Carat Economic Consensus on Free Trade PIE The 25th of May, 2017 Retrieved the 27th of February, 2018 10 Carat Pool, William, 2004 Free Trade, Why Are Economists and Non-Economists So Far Apart? Review 86, 5 Do, 10.20955 forward slash r.86.1-6 11 Carat ABCCP Krugman, The Narrow and Broad Arguments for Free Trade, American Economic Review, Papers and Proceedings, 83, 3, 1993, and P. Krugman, Peddling Prosperity, Economic Sense, and Nonsense in the Age of Diminished Expectations, New York, W. W. Norton and Company, 1994. 12 Carat A. B. Free Trade. IGM Forum. The 13th of March, 2012. Retrieved the 24th of June, 2017. 13 Carat AB Import Duties. IGM Forum. The 4th of October, 2016. Retrieved the 24th of June, 2017. 14 Carat Trade within Europe. IGM Forum. Retrieved the 24th of June, 2017. 15 Carat Pool, William, September forward slash October 2004. Free Trade, Why Are Economists and Non-Economists So? Far Apart archived the 7th of November, 2017 at the Wayback Machine. Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. Review. 86. 5 pp 1 6. Most observers agree that, t, he consensus among mainstream economists. On the desirability of free trade remains almost universal. Quote at p 1. 16 Carrot Irwin, Douglas, 2017. Peddling Protectionism, Smoot Hawley and the Great Depression. Princeton. University Press pp. 718. ISBN 978-1-4008842-9.
17 Carat Pool, William, 2004. Free Trade, Why Are Economists and Non-Economists So Far Apart? Review. 86, 5. Do. 10.20955 forward slash r.86.1-6 One set of reservations concerns distributional effects of trade. Workers are not seen as benefiting from trade. Strong evidence exists indicating a perception that the benefits of trade flow to businesses and the wealthy, rather than to workers, and to those abroad rather than to those in the United States. 18 Carat A B Zirang, Ping, 2012 B. Patents in TRIPS plus provisions and the approaches to interpretation of free trade agreements and TRIPS, do they affect public health? Journal of World Trade. 46, 1. 155 do. 10.54648 forward slash trad 2012006. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 19 Carat Rosenfeld, Everett, the 11th of March, 2016. Here's why everyone is arguing about free trade. CNBC. Retrieved 10 August, 2021. 20 Carat A.B. Paul Krugman, Robin Wells and Martha L. Olney, Essentials of Economics, Worth Publishers, 2007. pp. 342345. 21 Carat Wong, Edward, Tatlow, Diddy Kirsten, 5 June, 2013. China seen in push to gain technology. Insights. The New York Times. Retrieved the 16th of October, 2017. 22 Carat Markov, John, Rosenberg, Matthew, the 3rd of February, 2017. China's intelligent weaponry gets smarter. The New York Times. Retrieved 16 October, 2017. 23 Carat The Unpleasant Truth About Chinese Espionage. Observer.com The 22nd of April, 2016. Retrieved. The 16th of October, 2017. 24 Carat Ipe Yamezawa, Restructuring the Japanese Economy. Policies and Performance in Global Protectionism, EDS Robert C. Hine, Anthony P. O'Brien, David Greenaway and Robert J. Thornton, Street Martins Press, 1991, pp. 55-56 25 Carat Crispin Weymouth, Is Protectionism a Useful Concept for Company Law and Foreign Investment? Policy. A new EU perspective in company law and economic protectionism, new challenges to European integration, EDS. Ulf Bernitz and Wolf Jaw Gringe, Oxford University Press, 2010, pp. 4476. 26 Carat Peter Draos, John Braithwaite, 2002. Information Feudalism. Who owns the knowledge? Economy. London, Earthskin. P36. ISBN 978-1-85383-917-7. 27-carat, 1, archived 17 October, 2006 at the Wayback Machine. 28-carat AB free to choose, Milton Friedman. 29 Carat The National System of Political Economy, by Friedrich List, 1841, translated by Sampson S. Lloyd. MP, 1885 edition, 4th book, The Politics, Chapter 33. 30 Carat Shafidin, Medi, 1998. How did developed countries industrialize? 
the history of trade and industrial policy, the cases of Great Britain and the USA, United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, 31 Carat Raynet, Eric, 2007, How Rich Countries Got Rich and Why Poor Countries Stay Poor, New York, Carol and Graf, 32 Carat Trade Policy and Economic Development, A Trading Nation, Canadian Trade Policy from Colonialism to Globalization ISBN 978-0-7748-0894-1 carat ABC, Feenstra, Robert, M. Taylor, Allen, the 23rd of December, 2013 Globalization in an Age of Crisis Multilateral Economic Cooperation in the 21st Century Nba. Do 10.7208 forward slash Chicago forward slash 9780226030890.001.0001 ISBN 9780226030307 34 Carat A. B. A Historian on the Myths of American Trade. The Economist. Retrieved 26 November, 2017. 35 Carat A. B. C. Irwin, Douglas A. The 2nd of August, 2020. Trade Policy in American Economic History. Annual. Review of Economics. 12. 12344 do 10.1146 forward slash an of economics 0701192404409 ISSN 1941 S2C2417407832 36 carat AB Paul Byrock 1995. Economics and World History, Myths and Paradoxes. University of Chicago Press. pp. 3132. Archived from the original on 12 October, 2017. Retrieved 16 August, 2017. 37 Carat Paul Byrock. 1995. Economics and World History, Myths and Paradoxes. University of Chicago. Press. P33. 38 Carat Paul Byrock, 1995. Economics and World History, Myths and Paradoxes. University of Chicago. Press. P34. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 39 Carat Paul Byrock, 1995. Economics and World History, Myths and Paradoxes. University of Chicago. Press. P36. 40 Carat Paul Byrock, 1995. Economics and World History, Myths and Paradoxes. University of Chicago. Press. pp. 34, 40. 41 Carat Santosh Mirotra, Sylvie Gichard, 2020. Planning in the 20th Century and Beyond, India's Planning Commission and the Niti Aayog. Cambridge University Press. P285. ISBN 978-1-108. 49,462 to 5. Most importantly, the United States was the birthplace of the idea of infant industry. Protection, and indeed was the most heavily protected economy in the world for about a century, until the Second World War. 42 Carat Reed, Robert, 
the 1st of August 2005. The political economy of trade protection, the determinants and welfare impact of the 2002 U.S. Emergency Steel Safeguard Measures (PDF). World Economy. 28. 8 1119 1137 do. 10.1111 forward slash j.1467-9700 1.2005.00722.x ISSN 1467-9701 S2SID 1545203900 43 carat Chung, Sung Hoon Lee, Jun Hyung, Asang, Thomas, the 1st of June 2016. Did China Tire Safeguard Save US Workers? PDF. European Economic Review. 85, 2238. Do. 10.1016 forward slash j. euro echo ev. 2015.12.009. ISSN 0014-2921. 44 carat why American allies are angry. Gulfnews.com the 4th of June, 2018. 45 carat foreign trade US trade with China. United States Census Bureau. 46 Carat Baton, Jorg, 2016. A History of the Global Economy. From 1500 to the Present. Cambridge. University Press. P13. ISBN 978 1 107-50718-0. 47 Carat Darwin, 2012 pp. 2122. 48 Carat Darwin, 2012 p. 166. 49 Carat Max Saville, 1948. Seeds of Liberty, The Genesis of the American Mind. Kessinger. P204FF. ISBN 978-1-4191-0707-8 50 Carat Harold Cox, ed. British Industries Under Free Trade, 1903, pp. 1718 51 Carat Lynn, Martin, 1999 Porter, Andrew, ed. British Policy, Trade and informal empire in the mid-19th century. The Oxford History of the British Empire, Volume 3, The 19th Century. 3, 1011121. Do, 10.1093 forward slash acprof also forward slash 9780198205654.0001. Fifty two Carat Williamson, Jeffrey G., the first of April, nineteen ninety. The impact of the Corn Laws just prior to repeal. Explorations. In Economic History. Twenty seven, two one two three one five six two, ten dot one thousand and sixteen forward slash zero zero one four dash four thousand nine hundred and eighty three, ninety. 90007L 53 carat P J Kane under G Hopkins British Imperialism 1688 2000 second ED 2002 chapter 10 54 carat Mukherjee Aditya 2010 Empire how colonial India made modern Britain Economic and political Weekly 45, 50, 73, 55 Carat Habib, Irf Van, 1995. Colonization of the Indian Economy. Essays in Indian History. New Delhi, D. 
Tulica. Press. pp. 30446. 56 Carat Varian, Brian D. 2018. Anglo American Trade Costs During the First Era of Globalization The Contribution of a Bilateral Tariff Series. The Economic History Review. 71, 11912 12. Do 10.1111 forward slash a.12486. ISSN 0013-0117 S2SID 1577113100 57 Carat Varian, Brian D. 2023 British Exports and Foreign Tariffs, Insights from the Board of Trades Foreign Tariff Compilation for 1902 The Economic History Review 76 3827843 do 10.1111 forward slash a.13214 ISSN 0013-0117 S2SID 25316590 Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF 58 carat variant Brian D. 2019. The Growth of Manufacturing Protection in 1920s Britain. Scottish Journal. Of Political Economy. 66, 5703711 10.1111 forward slash sjpe.12223. ISSN 0036-9292. S2 SID 1593465815 59 Carat Varian, Brian D. The 18th of August, 2022. Protection and the British rail industry during the 1920s. Business history. 64, 6 1131 1148 2. 10.1080 forward slash 0007691.2020.1753699. ISSN 0007-6791. S2SID 2190252386. 60 Carat Foreman Peck, James, 1979. Tariff Protection and Economies of Scale. The British Motor Industry. Before 1939. Oxford Economic Papers. 31, 2237257 10.1093 forward slash Oxford Journals. Ep.04144. Retrieved 6 January 2024. 61 Carat de Bromhead, Allen, Fernihauf, Allen. Lamp, Marcus, O'Rourke, Kevin George, the 1st of February, 2019. When Britain turned inward, the impact of interwar British protection. American Economic Review. 109, 23253522, 10.1257 forward slash air.20172020. ISSN 0002-8282 62 Carat Cup, Forest, 2011 Depression and Protectionism, Britain Between the Wars London, Routledge ISBN 978-0-415-60704-9 63 Carat ABCD Findlay, Ronald, O'Rourke, Kevin H. 2009. Power and Plenty. Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0-691-14327-9. Retrieved 16 October, 2017. 64 Carat ABCDEF Findlay, Ronald, O'Rourke, 
Kevin H. The 1st of January, 2003. Commodity Market Integration. 1500-2000. Mb. 1364. 65-carat Harley, Scenic, 2004. 7 Trade, Discovery, Mercantilism and Technology. The Cambridge. Economic History of Modern Britain. Cambridge University. pp. 175203. Do 10.1017 forward slash col 9780521820363.008. ISBN 978-1-139-05385-3. Retrieved the 27th of June, 2017. 66 Carat Williamson. Jeffrey G., the 1st of April, 1990. The Impact of the Corn Laws Just Prior to Repeal. Explorations. In Economic History. 27, 2123156 to 10.1016 forward slash 0014-4983, 90, 90007L. 67 Carat Dordin, Guillaume, Arauque, Kevin H. Escogera, Leandro Prados de la, 2008. Trade and Empire. 1,71870. Documents Documentste Travail de Elofs. 68 Carat Zhang, J. Towards a Brighter Future in Trade and World Development, Hong Kong Industrialist. 2005 forward slash 12, p28. 69 carat Richard Wolfson, 1999, how bovine growth hormone was rejected in Canada archived 7. January, 2023 at the Wayback Machine, from consumerhealth.org 22, 9. 70 carat Gallus, Daniel, August, 2018. The Country Built on Trade Barriers BBC News Retrieved The 10th of November, 2021 71 Carat Coatsworth, John, Williamson, Jeffrey, June, 2002 The Roots of Latin American Protectionism, Looking Before the Great Depression The Working Paper Series 72 carat Mercosu in brief. Mercosu. 73 carat Argentina trade policy. Commanding Heights, The Battle for the World Economy. PBS. Archived from the original on the 26th of April, 2011. 74 carat Antonio Cafro, the 7th of May, 2008. Intimidations. Boycotts Y Calidad Institutional. Page in a forward slash 12. Archived. From the original on the 11th of February, 2012. 75 carat Pablo Jerchunov, 1989. Peronist Economic Policies, 1946-1955. D.I. Teller Y. Dawn Busch. P.P. 5985. 76 carat Arnaut, Javier. Understanding the Latin American Gap During the Era of Import Substitution. Institutions, Productivity, and Distance to the Technology Frontier in Brazil, Argentina and Mexico's. Manufacturing Industries, 1935-1975, PDF. Archived from the original. PDF, on the 26th of April, 2012. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 77 Carat William Poole, Free Trade, Why Are Economists and Non-Economists So Far Apart Archived 7. December, 2017 at the Wayback Machine. Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis Review
September forward slash October 2004, 86, 5, pp. 1. Most observers agree that, t, he consensus among mainstream. Economists on the desirability of free trade remains almost universal. 78 carat trade within Europe IGM forum. Igmakiacargo.org. Retrieved the 24th of June, 2017. 79 carat AB Panigaria, Arvind, the 18th of July, 2019. Debunking protectionist myths, free trade, the developing world, and prosperity. Cato Institute Economic Development Bulletin, 31. SSRN 3501729. 80 Carat Hickel, Jason, 2018. The Divide, A Brief Guide to Global Inequality and Its Solutions. Windmill. Books. ISBN 978-1786090034 81-carat Krugman, Paula 1987 Is Free Trade Pass? The Journal of Economic Perspectives 1, 2 1, 3, 1, 2, 10 1257 forward slash jep.1.2.131. Jster 1942985. 82 carat Krugman, Paul, the 24th of January, 1997. The Accidental Theorist archived the 20th of September, 2011 at the Wayback Machine. Slate. 83 Carat McGee, Stephen P. 1976. International Trade and Distortions in Factor Markets. New York, Marcel. Decker. 84 Carat D.I. Lorenzo, T.J., Frederick Bastet, 1801-1850 Between the French and Marginalist Revolutions. Accessed at, Ludwig von Mises Institute, the 13th of April. 2012 archived the 13th of September 2014 at the Wayback Machine 85 carat Keeley Lawrence the 6th of February 1996 War before civilization the myth of the peaceful savage reprint edition Oxford University Press USA ISBN 0195119126 86 Carat Canada, Asia Pacific Foundation of The Opium Wars in China Asia Pacific Curriculum 87 Carat Yudley, Jonathan, the 16th of March, 2009 Jonathan Yudley reviews The Proud Tower by Barbara Touchman The Washington Post 88 Carat Trainer, Ian, Gritsenko, Oaksena, the 21st of November, 2013. Ukraine suspends talks on EU trade pact as Putin wins tug of war, Ukraine was due to sign accord at summit next week but MPs reject key bills. Especially on freeing Yulia Tymoshenko from jail. The Guardian. 89 Carat C Trips Art. 1, 3. 90 Carat Gervais, Daniel, 2012. The Trips Agreement, Negotiating History. London, Sweet and Maxwell. pp. Part I. 91 Carat A.B. Newfummer, Richard, 2006. Trade, Doha, and Development, 1st ED. The World Bank. P 292. 92 Carat Timmerman, Christian, Henk van den Belt, 2013. Intellectual Property and Global Health, from Corporate Social Responsibility to the Access to Knowledge Movement. Liverpool Law Review. 34, 1. 47, 73. 2, 
10.1007 forward slash S10991-013-9100 S2SID 145492036 Archived from the original on 23 June 2020 Retrieved the 31st of October 2020 93 Karat Nebirhe, Emma Farge, Steph Eni, the 10th of December 2020 WTO delays decision on waiver on COVID 19 Drug, Vaccine Rights Reuters Archived from the original on 28 February 2021 Retrieved the 25th of February 2021 94 Carat Members to continue discussion on proposal for temporary IP waiver in response to COVID-19 World Trade Organization Archived from the original on the 27th of February 2021. Retrieved the 25th of February 2021. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 95 Carat Baker, Brooke K. Dot, Labent, Ronald. The 9th of January 2021. Dummies Guide to How Trade Rules Affect Access to COVID-19 Vaccines. The Conversation. Archived from the original on the 23rd of February 2021. Retrieved the 25th of February 2021. 96 carat an unnecessary proposal. A WTO waiver of intellectual property rights for COVID-19 vaccines. Cato Institute. The 16th of December, 2020. Archived from the original on the 25th of February, 2021. Retrieved. The 25th of February, 2021. 97 carat G7 leaders are shooting themselves in the foot by failing to tackle global vaccine access. Amnesty International. The 19th of February, 2021. Retrieved the 25th of April, 2021. 98 carat Pietramarchi, Virginia, the 1st of March, 2021. Patently unfair. Can waivers help solve COVID vaccine inequality? Al Jazeera. Retrieved the 26th of April, 2021. 99 carat trips waiver COVID-19 response. COVID19response.org. 100 carat WTO finally agrees on a trips deal. But not everyone is happy. Devex. The 17th of June, 2022. 101 carried the least developed countries report 2022. United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Retrieved the 5th of January, 2023. 102 carried historical statistics of the United States, colonial times to 1957. Value of exports and imports, 1,790. To 1957, pp. 53738, Value of merchandise imports and duties, 1821 to 1957, p. 539, Indexes of Quantity and unit value of exports and imports, 1879 to 1957, pp. 54041, Value of Merchandise. Exports and Imports, by Groups of Customs Districts, 1860-1954, pp. 54243, Value of Merchandise. Exports and Imports, by Economic Classes, 1820-1957, pp. 54445, 
exports of selected U.S. merchandise, 1790-1957, pp. 54647, imports of selected products, 1790-1957, pp. 54849. Value of general imports, by country of origin, 1790-1957, pp. 55253, 2. 103 carat historical statistics of the United States, colonial times to 1970, part 2 zip file, CT 1970 P2-12. Series Y34351, 1940-1970, Customs, TOT. Receipts, Income Taxes, Payroll Taxes, Excise, Y342339. 1940-1970, Receipts, Y352357, 1790-1957. Government receipts, total, 1789-1970, customs, 1789-1970, Y358-373 excise tax, 1863-1970, income tax, 1916-1970, series U125 balance of International Payments Imports, 1790-1970, accessed 5 August, 2011, 3. 104 Bicentennial Edition Historical Statistics of the United States, Colonial Times to 1970, 4. 105 White House Historical Tables 1942-2016. Table 1.1 TOT Receipts, 1901-2010, Table 2-1, 2-4 Excise Tax, 1934-2010, Table 2-5 Customs, 1942-2010, 5, Accessed 5 August, 2011 106 carat U.S. imports for consumption Duties collected, and ratio of duties to value, 1891-2016, U.S. imports. For consumption under tariff preference programs, 1976-2016, 6. 107 carat U.S. trade in goods and services balance of payments, BOP, basis, 1960-2010, 7, accessed. 5 August, 2011 108 Carat Fatch Gelbaum, Pablo D. Condelwall, Amit K. 1 August, 2016 Measuring the unequal gains from Trade, PDF The Quarterly Journal of Economics 131 3-1132 10.1093 forward slash QJE forward slash QJW013 ISSN 0033-5533 S2 SID 9094432 Carat Amity, Mary, Di, Me, Feenstra, Robert, Romales, John, the 28th of June, 2017 China's WTO Entry Benefits U.S. Consumers Voxeu.org Retrieved 28 June, 2017 110 Carat Roderick, Danny Has Globalization Gone Too Far? PDF Institute for International Economics 111 Carat Byrock, Paul 1993. Economics and World History, Myths and Paradoxes. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. P47.
Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 112 Carat Dejures, David, 2006. Tariffs and Growth, an Empirical Exploration of Contingent Relationships. The Review of Economics and Statistics. 88, 462542. 10.1162 forward slash rest.88.4.625. S2 SID 197260. 113 carat Varian, Brian D. 2022. Revisiting the Tariff Growth Correlation, The Australasian Colonies, 1866. 1900. Australian Economic History Review. 62, 14765 10.1111 forward slash year.12233. ISSN 0004. 8992. S2 SID 2453 114 carat A. B. Irwin, Douglas A. The 1st of January, 2001. Tariffs and Growth in Late 19th Century America. World Economy. 24, 1530. Sightseeks 10.1.1.200.5492. Do. 10.1111 forward slash 1467-9701.00341. ISSN 1467-9701. S2 SID 1536477738. 115 carat H. Rourke, Kevin. The 1st of November, 2000. British Trade Policy in the 19th Century, a review article. European Journal of Political Economy. 16, 482942-10.1016 forward slash S0176-2680, 99, 000043-9. 116 Carat Frankel, Jeffrey O. Roma, David, June, 1999. Does Trade Cause Growth? American Economic. Review. 89, 337999-10.1257 do, forward slash air.89.3.379. ISSN 0002-8282. 117 Carat Panigaria, Arvind, 2019. Free Trade and Prosperity, How Openness Helps the Developing. Countries Grow Richer and Combat Poverty. Oxford, New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978. 0-19-091449-3. 118 Carat Krugman, Paul, the 21st of March, 1997. In Praise of Cheap Labor archived the 7th of September, 2011 at the Wayback Machine. Slate. 119 Carat Cecilia, David B. And Kruik Shank, Jeffrey L. 2000. The Greenspan Effect. P131. New York, McGraw. Hill. ISBN 978-0-07-1349192. 120 carat the case for protecting infant industries. Bloomberg.com the 22nd of December, 2016. Retrieved the 24th of June. 2017. 121 carat A.B. Baldwin, Robert E. 1969. 
The Case Against Infant Industry Tariff Protection Journal of Political Economy 77 32953052 10.1086 forward slash 259517 Jista 18289054784307 122 Carito Kruger, Anne, Baran, Tunsa, 1982. An Empirical Test of the Infant Industry Argument. American Economic Review. 72, 5. 123 Carat Chow Dry, SNU. Hakura, Dahlia S. 2000. International Trade and Productivity Growth, Exploring. The Sectoral Effects for Developing Countries IMF Staff Papers 47, 130-53 Do, 10.2307 forward slash 3867624 Just a 3867624 124 Carat Baldwin, Richard E. Krugman, Paul, June, 1986 Market Access and International Competition, a Simulation Study of 16K Random Access Memories Mba Working Paper No. 1936 Do, 10.3386 forward slash W1936 125 Carat Luzio, Eduardo, Greenstein, Shane, 1995 Measuring the Performance of a Protected Infant Industry, The Case of Brazilian Microcomputers, PDF The Review of Economics and Statistics 77 462263322 10 10.2307 forward slash 2109811 HDL 2142 forward slash 29917 Just a 2109811 126 carat US tire tariffs, saving few jobs at high cost PIE The 2nd of March, 2016 Retrieved the 24th of June, 2017 127 Carat Frankel, Jeffrey, the 15th of June, 2018. The Republicans have a long history of protectionism. Market Watch. 128 Carat Independent Monitoring of Policies that Affect World Trade. Global Trade Alert. Retrieved. The 16th of December, 2016. 129 carat a French roadblock to free trade. The New York Times. The 31st of August, 2003. Retrieved the 22nd of May. 2010. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 130 carat Brussels warns US on protectionism. DW World. Do. The 30th of January, 2009. Retrieved the 16th of October, 2017. 131 carat Global Trade Alert. GlobalTradeAlert.org. Retrieved the 16th of October, 2017. 132 carat trade and the crisis, protect or recover, pdf. imf.org. Retrieved the 16th of October, 2017. 133 carat Baker, Peter, the 23rd of January, 2017. Trump abandons Trans-Pacific Partnership, Obama's signature. Trade deal. The New York Times. Retrieved the 1st of July, 2018. 134 carat Hayashi, Yuka, 
the 28th of December 2023. Biden struggles to push trade deals with allies as election approaches. The Wall Street Journal. 135 carat intelligence, FDI. Protectionism, trade restrictions reach an all-time high. www.fdintelligence.com Retrieved the 11th of January, 2024. 136 carat bank, European Central, the 24th of April, 2019. The Economic Implications of Rising Protectionism, a Euro Area and Global Perspective European Central Bank Retrieved the 11th of January, 2024 A. Carrot Economic Nationalism is an ideology that prioritizes state intervention in the economy, including Policies like domestic control and the use of tariffs and restrictions on labor goods, and capital movement. b. Carrot economic liberalism is a political and economic ideology that supports a market economy based on individualism and private property in the means of production. c. Carrot France also fought on the side of the UK in the Second Opium War. d. Carrot the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, GATT is a legal agreement between many countries whose overall purpose was to promote international trade by reducing or eliminating trade barriers such as tariffs or quotas. According to its preamble, its purpose was the substantial reduction of tariffs and other trade barriers and the elimination of preferences on a reciprocal and mutually advantageous basis. External links Edit. Media related to protectionism at Wikimedia Commons. Categories. Protectionism Economic Ideologies Commercial Policy Localism. Politics. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.